Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pello, coming to you here on this Saturday morning from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting out this morning, continuing from yesterday's scripture reading in John chapter 8, verses 33 through 47. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham and have never been slaves to anyone. What do you mean by saying, You will be made free? Jesus answered them, Very truly I tell you, everyone who commits sin is a slave to sin. The slave does not have a permanent place in the household. The son has a place there forever. So if the son makes you free, you will be free indeed. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, yet you look for an opportunity to kill me, because there is no place in you for my word. I declare what I have seen in the Father's presence, for as for you, you should do what you have heard from the Father. They answered him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said to them, If you are Abraham's children, you would be doing what Abraham did, but now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. This is not what Abraham did. You are indeed doing what your father does. They said to him, We are not illegitimate children. We have one father, God himself. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me, for I came from God, and now I am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. Why do you not understand what I say? It is because you cannot accept my word. You are from your father, the devil, and you choose to do your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks according to his own nature, for he is a liar and the father of lies. But because I tell the truth, you do not believe me. Which of you convicts me of sin? If I tell the truth, why do you not believe me? Whoever is from God hears the words of God. The reason you do not hear them is that you are not from God. That is our scripture reading for today. And if you will, please join me in a time together again in prayer. Let us now pray together. Eternal God, we rejoice this morning in the gift of life, which we have received by your race and the new life that you give in your Son, Jesus Christ. Especially we thank you for the love of our families, for the affection of our friends, for strength and abilities to serve your purposes today in this community in which we live and opportunities to give as we have received. Especially we pray in this day for those closest to us, for family, friends, neighbors, for refugees and homeless men, women and children, for the outcast and persecuted, for those from whom we are estranged. We hope for each of these people to find a purpose and hope for their life in the future today. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you here tomorrow at 8 a.m. I hope you all have a great day today.